uh, my most recent position in Panama was the assistant principal at the International School of Panama, which is a top school. Uh, and we do a really good job of bringing in teachers and taking care of everything uh, from taxes to immigration to housing to, you know, we don't buy you a car, but we help you find a car. Um, I was also at, uh, prior to that, I was in, in Morocco at the American School in Rabat. I'm currently at the um, American School in Taichung, in Taiwan. And so I've done, I've done international schools in a couple of places. Um, I think that if you're coming in as a teacher, you need to be really aware that there are for-profit um, schools that are looking for you to come in and do a job, do it um, at the cheapest price point for them, and that they're going to they're going to bank on that. And that's that's you have to recognize that that's why you were hired. Um, there are also international schools that are are international in name only, but they're really a local operation with local owners, local staff, local students. Um, and then there are some really innovative programs happening as well. Um, I would point out there's the, a, a, a new school system that's operating now called the Casco School, which is they have a, a primary school that's opening up in, in Casco Viejo in the old city. Uh, and they've now opened up a branch in Clayton. I think there's one in Costa del Este. And they're doing some really innovative, like new stuff um, where the, the, the owner slash director is trying to branch out and just, just push the envelope. So you've got, you've got all those options. You have your traditional schools, you have your, your local schools, which are international, but really local. And then you've got some really innovative places that are doing some new things. And I think if you're hired at any of those positions, the first thing I would ask right off the bat is what's going to be your immigration status? And make sure that the school is going to take care of your immigration paperwork for you. So you don't want to have to deal with that in addition to adopting a new country. Uh, and I would ask for you as a teacher, what's your level of tolerance in terms of the, the school's profit mentality? And if you are willing to work for a for-profit school, that's most of what you're going to find in Panama. Um, if you are willing, if, you, if you're looking for an international nonprofit like the International School of Panama, excuse me, then, then that will be a different lens, but it's also very competitive and harder to get into. Um, 